Hello everyone, I am Sean, React to the K's channel arranger and host of Classical Composer Breaks Down the K, and this is a reaction to Hjol's Badster. Now, I heard a little preview of this, uh, I don't know that much about it, but figured it's SM. I'll give it a listen. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's a nice... that's a bass. Countdown, going from Amber. SM can't resist the vocal harmonies in the pre-chorus, even for a solo release. Oh, wait. Wait, is the drop chorus part two, or was that all pre-chorus and I just thought we'd hit the chorus? Bridging sessions are nice. Oh, and yep, and the major third. Whoa, that was more harmony than I was expecting. A good use of the very electronic vocal sound. Uh, like that's like the sort of auto-tune voice can become tired, but it, like it really works with this aesthetic. Yeah, this is different from last time. Guess we're on the bridge now? No, wait, this is outro. So is this... Yeah, that's interesting. This was this was more of an EDM form. A lot of EDM, I've heard, is essentially just two rises. Like, um, I guess I'm, I'm thinking more of non-vocal, non so um, instrumental in the sense of non-vocal. <laughs> um, where it just like, sort of starts out with what would be the verse build up or pre-chorus and then drop or chorus um, and then just sort of does that twice differently each time but just two of those in contrast with the pop song two of those and then bridge final chorus so I mean it definitely had the fairly EDM aesthetic so it it makes sense that they'd make that formal choice but uh, I wasn't really I wasn't really expecting that but also that explains why like the Chord, there was either a double pre-chorus or a fairly large two-part chorus in it. Um, yeah, it's interesting hearing like the sort of certain SM tropes like the the vocal harmony pre-chorus um, or the um, sort of vacillating third and frigid second. Well, that's, that's not an SM trope. That's an FX trope. Like that's very specifically something that uh, arises out of FX. Um, but applied to something more, I mean, FX was very electronic aesthetic, but something more explicitly EDM. Um, I, I also wondering with the video being like all animated, no, no, no live actual person, if this is influenced by pop slash stars, but I'm wondering if this is SM kind of 
having their take at not not a completely not like a group of fictional characters voiced by real people because like I know Hill has her own stuff from before this um, but if if they're trying to see if what what they could do with the sort of animated animated visual style anyway thank you for watching bye